Do you ever feel like you need a severe spanking on your body? Camera right. Is you have, but you just don't okay, camera ask. one, how's your position? Hello? Got it. My Great. Name? Okay, uh, camera two, can I punch you in? Uh, yeah, bring it on out. Okay, Cookie, I need names. Yeah, I got it! Nate, I need to do a sound check. Alright, how you doing? Welcome to the show, blah, 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 blah. Oh. Hello, people. How you doing? My name's Cookie. Welcome to our show here. How many people are going to be playing the game? Uh, you're a single player, is that right? Alright, could you give me your name, please? Uh, okay, loose wire back here. okay, you want to do a seven question game or you want 21? All right, if that's what you want, your call. 30 seconds. Okay, there, heads up. Your buzzer's letter B as in butcher. Oh, a bit impatient, are we? Well, that's too bad. I'm just kidding. Hey, come on! Let's get going here! Now! Get ready for some fun! It's question number one. The category behind this question is, there's no such thing as a stupid question. Right here, 1,000 bucks for a right answer. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. How many rings are in the three ring binder? The remainder of six to five. Go for it. Square root of nine. Why, you cipher better than Jethro Bodine. And he done graduated the sixth grade. How about it, hit whoop de do it's question number two. The category, flying cheese. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. You're at a crowded party and one of the guests passes gas. It's all yours. Fire in the hole. Fire in the hole. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. This one's gonna be menage à sept. The amount on the table is three grand. Flight attendants, prepare for takeoff. Which list contains synonyms for three of Snow White, seven dwarfs? Shy retiring wall, go for it. Insipid, merry, and soporific. That's dopey, happy, and sleepy to you less uh, literary types. Next up, she married my uncle in Vegas. This question's gonna be worth $2,001 bills. Okay, we're coming at you, heads up. Which of the following is not an antelope? It's all you. Gemsbach? No, it's an antelope, and I believe a distant relative of the Reebok. Now the correct answer is, often pincher, it's a dog. Okay. Question five. The name in this category is Rollin' Rollin' Rollin'. And we will pay out $3,000 for this one. Get your eyes focused on the screen, here we go. How is roulette in Monte Carlo different from roulette in Vegas? There are 38, not 36 numbers. There's only one zero. The wheel spins in the opposite. Go for it. In Monte Carlo, there's only one zero on the wheel. Uh-oh, West Truck licks nine more. It's time for a Tinker Lake Test Drive. Here's your gibberish category. Oh, I thought you were someone else. The opening value is $5,000. Okay, to solve this puzzle, you gotta think fast because every second and a half, I'm ticking off a little bit of cash. Don't get thrown off by the punctuation on this one. With what cliche does this rhyme? Gee, Bo Weevil, Mere Joe Sneevil. See if you know it, type in your answer and hit uh. Of course a lot of people don't know the full proverb Which is see no evil, hear no evil, eat no pork and beans How about it? Zaba dooba dabbin, question seven The category is Men with different colored eyes I'm paying out $2,000 if you get this one right Hang on tight, cause here we go If you went to Suffragette City, what would be going on there? Women It's all yours Things would fragment, kinda like your train of thought Shoulda picked this Women would be voting. Suffragettes are advocates of voting rights for women. All right. 
Hydrate, hydrate, elevate, hibernate, vegetate. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Old-fashioned child rearing values. Okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's going to be worth a grand. For the life of me, I cannot remember the name of this Disney movie. You know, it's got that guy from Family Affair, and the parents separate singing twins who are supposed to be from Boston and California. Oh, go for it. The parent trap. There's a therapy bill I wouldn't want to pay. Okay. Number nine. Here's the category. Plain doctor with tweezers and electricity. And it looks like you can win a thousand greenbacks for this one. Remember the electrical game Operation by Milton Bradley? Which of the following is the best explanation for why the patient's nose lights up and a buzzer sounds when a player botches a procedure during a game of Operation? The Operation... It's all yours. <laughs> Too bad you didn't pick this. Hitting the metal edges with the metal tweezers completes the circuit. But I have an idea for a really exciting game of operation. Wire a brain surgeon to an electric generator. I've got it. Don't touch the skull. The category. Die, die, die. And we are talking 1,000 bucks for this question. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. Which of the following classic childhood games does not require the roll of a die to move ahead? Monopoly, Life, Clue, or Trouble? Oh, go for it. I guess we forgot about that little boy in the plastic bubble dice that you popped to move ahead in trouble. In case you're curious about the correct answer, <laughs> the game of life. Doesn't have any dice, it's got a spinner. But you gotta love a game where you can sell your kids for money. We've got 10 questions down, and for 10 more, we're going on to round two. <laughs> now, we are one round away from the jack attack, and all the questions in this round are going to be worth more than a round one. So pay attention, and let's do it. How about it? Hit me. Next up, what did you call me? And this one shouldn't be too tough. 4K for this one. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Susie is polydactylous, meaning she has too many of what? Fish, breasts, boyfriends, or toes. It's all yours. It's a new form of plastic surgery. I don't just want my breasts bigger. I want an extra one. And here's the right answer. Toesies. And these three little piggies went to college, and these four other piggies got a condo together, and these two... Oh. Okay. Uh-oh, mess butt tit slime chore. Once again, it's time for a ticklish pest gun. All right, now here's your category for this gibberish question. Indigestion and finals week. And if you're really fast, you can get up to 10,000 bucks for this gibberish question. Now, you're going to have about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'm going to be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. Ready? What product slogan does this rhyme with? Stop, pop quiz, Liz. Don't be fooled by the punctuation. It's for a product that makes noise. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. It makes noise when you drop it in water. Gotta see what you got. Start typing and hit Well, maybe you should have held out for that final clue. You ate too much turkey, so you pull out the Alka-Seltzer and stop pop quiz Liz. Ah, oh. oh, I feel better now. All right, come on here. Question 13. This one's gonna be the big purple pig out. It's gonna be worth $4,000. Now imagine you belong to the Barney the Dinosaur Hate Club and are currently designing a large skewer on which to roast Barney. Now let's say you know the radius of Barney is three feet. In order to penetrate his belly and emerge from the other side, the skewer will have to be a little- oh, Go for it. You never quite got the hang of that geometry stuff, did you? 
Here's what you should have guessed. Six feet, the radius is half the distance through Barney. Oh, and I will personally volunteer to skewer that reptile. How about it? The category behind this question is Superman and color perception. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. What if Lois Lane did a sizzling expose on tights wearing vigilantes and when Superman read it, he was pissed off? If Superman accused Lois Lane of yellow journalism, what exactly would he be complaining about? It's all yours. Sensationalism. Yellow journalism was sensationalistic reporting to attract readers. Boy, glad those days are over. Okay. Ever queen, self-esteem, beauty queen, rapture spleen. Here's question 15. The category is dermatological problems of the stars. And we are talking 4,000 big ones. Okay, get yourself set. It's time. What is the general medical term for that thing TV character John Boy Walton has on his face? A freckle and no! Go for it! Look straight ahead and say bye bye You know what you could have picked? You could have picked this. Nevis! That's the medical term for any pigmented spot on the body like a mole. Now to me, it's one mother of a distraction. Flush your head down the latrine. Here's the category. Big men in bigger hats. I'll pay you $4,000 bills for this one if you get it right. Remember the Ponderosa? Well, what if the Ponderosa boys decided that since every woman they come across gets killed off and since they already live with a bunch of other men, they might as well become priests? Now, if Hoss assumes the rank just below Pope, what will he be? Deacon Hoss? It's all oh, ugly! And let's see the correct answer. Cardinal Haas. Yeah, just imagine him riding up on the Ponderosa in the Pope Mobile. The name of this category is Morbid Fun. You get this one right, you got 2,000 bucks coming at you. Get ready to buzz, because here it comes. Let's say you're playing poker with Death, and Death has a straight flush. What do you need to stay alive? A royal. Go for it. <laughs> Don't even bother to pack. Now the correct answer is... A royal flush. Ten jack, queen, king, ace, all the same suit. The mother of all poker hands. How about it? Hit me with... Song to city. All right, let's see what we're doing here. Why is it growing like that? And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. Imagine an episode of 90210 on which Dylan tries to explain the inflationary theory to Kelly. Which of these books might Dylan use to help explain the inflationary theory to her? It's all yours. In case you're curious about the correct answer, <laughs> the inflationary theory helps explain the beginning and development of the universe. Probably not the Big Bang Kelly was looking for. Oh well. Okay, pick a category. The category behind this question is Disorderly Conduct and the People's Republic of China. You get this question right, you pocket six grand. Okay, let's get this ball rolling. Let's say all of China's 16 neighboring countries are drunk and rowdy, and China yells at them to be quiet. What you go for it? Uh, can I give you some advice? Go look at a map sometime. Too bad you didn't pick this. Shut your damn trap, Malaysia. Malaysia might have an attitude problem, but it does not border China. How about it? Ooh, ah, question number 20. The category, Love Boat Votes. It's going to be worth $4,000. Okay, hang tight. Put your fingers on your buzzers. Here's the question. If Captain Steubing jumped ship to pursue a career in politics like Gopher did, how many... It's all yours. 10? No, that's how old you have to be before the love boat starts insulting your intelligence. Should have picked this. He'd serve eight. U.S. reps serve two-year terms. Senators get six. And you know, if Gopher comes out of Capitol Hill and sees his shadow, it means six more weeks of filibustering. 
All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Jack attack time. So oh, you already got the rules down, huh? Let's not waste time. Match on this. I seem to be missing something. Hope you're not missing your memory, cause you'll need it for this. Just think, if you only got one or two more questions right, you could be at zero right now and still feel like you played a lousy game. So don't sweat it, cuz... You don't know Jack. Due to the White House Christmas special, Don't Kiss Me Like That will be aired next week. Excellent show, everybody. Hey, um, Cookie, uh, what are we going to do with these contestants? Yeah, 60 seconds. Are you okay? I don't know. I, I've got everything I need here, I think. Yeah. Okay. Gordy? Yes. Hey there, how you doing? Uh, as you may know, today is the Mexican holiday Day of the Dead, which is also not a bad horror film, if you ask my opinion. At any rate, how many people are playing the game here? Okay, you're a single player, is that right? Okay, why don't you type in your name for me? Hey, you know what? I also need to know if you had plans for a 21-question game. Okay, that's what I needed to know. 30 seconds. Okay, you have the letter B as your buzzer. That's B. Sorry, we didn't mean to bore you. Come on, let's start the game now. Let's have some fun. Here comes question one. Category. Revenge of the Salad Bar. And this one's worth $2,000. Okay, look closely at this poster and listen to this director's pitch. We've got girls in bathing suits being chased by a monster that crawled out of a rotten lima bean. What is the best title for this film? Plan 9 from Onion Space, the thing with two heads of lettuce. Go for it! A lima bean is a legume, and a rotten bean might be a black legume. Hey girls, it's your favorite, lima bean casserole! Ah! Here comes question two, it'll make you feel brand new. And we call this one, inhaling can be fun. Get it right, get 2,000 bucks. Alright, fingers limber, cause here comes the question. Because it's the most common element by volume in the Earth's atmosphere, what element does Bill Clinton inhale the most? Take it! Oxygen. A lot of people think that, but then again, a lot of people are wrong. In case you're interested, here's the right answer. Nitrogen. Though his official press secretary denies Clinton ever knowingly inhaled anything, ever. Alright, go ahead. Put on Three. Okay, coming up this category is Eli, Eli, no. 2,000 bucks for right answer. Okay, take a shot at this. What if after Eli Whitney finished his invention of the cotton gin, he celebrated by getting wasted on glasses of gin mixed with a little vermouth? What would he be drinking? Hot gin toddies, Manhattans. It's all yours. A martini is gin and a bit of vermouth. 
Sounds like right after he invented the cotton gin, Eli invented cotton mouth. This one's gonna be a partnership made in hell. All right, this one's not too tough. We're talking one grand for it. Okay, get your fingers ready. Let's get busy. The old detective from Barney Miller plus Officer Poncherello equals what? Go for it! Fish from Barney Miller and Ponch from Chips. That would make a great show. And they could have a streetwise informant named Malt Vinegar. Number five. And this question's category is Trashy Babes. Okay, three grand coming at ya. All right, kids, it's time to rummage through the old celebrity trash cans to see what we can find. Oh, here, got something. All right, I found an old girdle, an electric razor, a bottle of aftershave, a beehive wig, a phone book full of Baltimore numbers, and a broken pair of cha-cha heels. Take it! And that would be wrong. Here's what you should have picked. The late cross-dresser Divine hailed from Baltimore and literally killed for a pair of cha-cha heels in the film Female Trouble. This category is making out in your own pew. Okay, the right answer nets you 1,000 bucks. Okay, say a minister catches you and your main squeeze making out in the choir loft of a church. What's the very first commandment mentioned in the book of Genesis that you could use in your defense? Love thy neighbor, thou shalt not commit adultery. It's all yours! You got it! Oh, I, I, I'm sorry, no. Now the correct answer is... It's God's first commandment to Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis. Be fruitful and multiply. Besides, if you're gonna be screaming, Oh God, you might as well be in a church. An outstanding selection, because under that category is one major league point racking question. The Dis or Dat. Category for this dis or dat question is games people play and cleaning up afterwards. Now I'm gonna read off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's the name of a board game or a brand of laundry detergent. Oh, all right, you already know how to play. Well, let's put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's do it. Risk. Is it a board game or a laundry detergent? Life. Sorry! All! Cheer! This is it! Blue! That's all she wrote! Five rides! Solid mediocrity! Really? Let's throw that cash into your total. Okay, how about a new question? Alright, next up, Neil Diamond and Large Stinging Insects. And this one's gonna be worth $1,001 bills. Get your fingers ready, here's one coming at ya. If a honeybee wanted to tell the rest of the hive the location of a particularly nice source of pollen, she would appear to be following the Go for it! Hi there, I'd like you to meet Negative Score. Hi there, <laughs> hi! And over here we have the right answer. She will shake her abdomen, or as we scientists call it, booty. The direction and intensity of shaking lets the hive know where the food is and how groovy and happening the dancer is. Take your pick, what do you say? It's party time. Here comes number nine. The category. Meatloaf, back into hell for three nights only. Two G's for a right answer. All right, here we go. Suppose Meatloaf's Back Into Hell Tour has him scheduled to play the capital of the underworld. According to Milton's Paradise Lost, where might Mr. Loaf be playing? The s It's all yours! Pandemonium is the capital of hell in Paradise Lost. 
Maybe Milton will join Meatloaf on stage for the hit Paradise Lost by the Dashboard Live. Come on, we need a category. Hey, Master Blaster! Won't you find an answer? It's ten! Category, let's do it. Dots aren't just for eyes. Two thousand bucks riding on this one. Okay, hit your buzzer when you know the answer and then type it in. Uh, uh you know, I'm, I'm trying to remember. What's the name of that thing? You know, uh, you use it in a sentence. You, you use it when there's no conjunction. It relates the two independent clauses in a count. Show it if you know it. Type in your answer. In uh. Colon, this answer needs an enema. Let me take a second of my time to show you what's right. A semicolon is sometimes used between the two clauses of a compound sentence instead of a conjunction. It's also used when you don't have the strength to write a full colon. Okay, round one is... Okay, pick a... The category is... Flower is a great way to say I hate you. This one's worth six grand. Okay, let's say a bunch of celebrities are transported back to 15th century England. Because they have the same last name as the two warring houses in the Wars of the Roses, which pair might be forced to square off? Richard Simmons and Jason Priestley. Rich Take it! Hello, Charlie. <laughs> Ow. Too bad you didn't choose this. The red rose was the mark of the House of Lancaster. The white rose was the symbol of the House of York. I think those two might fight if Dick finds out it was Samantha Stevens Bert was kissing on the beach and from here to eternity. How about it? We need a... 12. This category is... I've got a really big date. Get this right, get $2,000. Who might have placed the following personal ad? Large green female in search of mate. French gal now living in New York City looking for love. Let me light the way. Enjoy some... It's all yours! The Statue of Liberty. She's large, she's green, and she was given to the U.S. by the French. Unfortunately, the last guy she kissed had to have his jaw surgically reattached. The category is Ride 'em Cowboy. This one's worth $4,001 bills. Okay, if you think you got this one, buzz in and type in the correct answer. Now imagine this horse race. You discover that the favorite horse in this race is so ornery, he's got two bits in his mouth. If you want to bet two bits on him for good. Okay, let your fingers do the walk. Not even close. I'm afraid I'm gonna have to shoot you now to put you out of your misery. Two bits is 25 cents, which is more than you're gonna get for this question. Alright, go ahead and pick one. Category. Immortals do it for eternity. We are talking four big ones. Hey, look, you're back in high school health class, and your substitute teacher is Greek goddess Athena. Imagine a girl asks Athena for advice about sex. Based on her personal experience, what will Athena answer? Why Go for it! Athena chose to remain a virgin goddess because she didn't want to be tied down. But she was very fond of a certain olive branch. And this category is... That's all, my folks. 2,000 bucks for right answer. Hang on tight, because here we go. In a Warner Brothers cartoon version of the miniseries Roots, Sylvester the Cat would trace his earliest ancestors back to what country? Hey, it's all yours! Cool. Egypt is considered to be the birthplace of the domestic cat, which would make the Sahara Desert the first litter box. Come on, we need a question 16. This one's gonna be whiskey business. Six thousand dollars could be yours. 
Old Style Beer is famous for being fully croisoned. Now, if you were to croisen Tom Cruise, what would you need to do to take it? To make Tom Croisen, you'd add a fermented liquid to him to produce natural carbonation. You want the bubbles? I want the bubbles! You can't handle the bubbles! Uh-oh! Press what's with Mime Door! It's time for... Snicker Trick Restroom! Your category for this gibberish question... Illegal Army Meals. And $10,000 is what we're stepping out the door with. Alright, I'm taking cash away every second and a half. So the faster you are, the more you score. Okay, tell me, what song title does this rhyme with? Mess. The Fab Okra Pandas. It's a 1920s song. I know you weren't alive then. Just concentrate. It's a song about a banana shortage. Take it away. Type in your answer and hit ret- Well, I don't know. I think you should have held out for the final clue. Hey, fruit guy, got any bananas? Mess, the Fabulcra pandas. So, uh, you, you got any grapes? Alright, go ahead and pick And this question's category is not so sterling silverware. Four thousand bucks behind this one. Remember that nursery rhyme, hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, where the dish ran away with the spoon? Well, if after eloping the dish found out that the spoon's little utensil was all it's all yours! Nope, spoony means sentimental or silly. Kinda like if I sang you a song about a cow jumping over the moon. Let me take a second of my time to show you what's right. Spatula can mean spoon-like. I think it can also mean an annulment. Okay, big... And we call this one, Lucky It Wasn't Greased. Get it right, get 2,000 bucks. Hey, my scanner just kicked in. All right, let's listen to the police report. Suspect allegedly made off with four sign assets and fled scene. By the time he was apprehended, suspect had consumed the evidence and vigilante justice had been taken. Who's the suspect? Johnny, who went to the fair. The man from St. Ives. Tom the Go for it! Nah, but the bastard promised to buy me some blue ribbons and never came through. Too bad you didn't pick this. Tom, Tom, the piper's son, stole a pig and away he run. Have you ever tried to run while carrying a pig? It's hard. <laughs> Never mind how I know that. Take your pick. What Super stuff. No special. 20. Okay, coming up, this category is World Leaders in Lycra. We're talking 6,000 bucks for this one. Oh, no. Oh, singer Bjorn from the Swedish rock group ABBA has suddenly quit the band. They need a replacement and ask political statesman ABBA Eben to fill in. Which ABBA song would ABBA Eben most likely sing as a tribute to the country he serves? Voulez-vous in France? Take a chance on me, Israel. Don't cry for me, or It's all yours! ABBA Eben is an Israeli political leader. Here's one for all you crazy kids back home in Tel Aviv. How about it? We need a category. Time for the attack. Oh, you already know the way this works. Alright, make sure your match fits this clue. Stop! 
You're killing me. Now let's see if you kill your score. Good luck. Okay, great show. Uh, thanks, Buzz. Let's roll commercials and uh, find out what's happening. Cookie with the players. Excellent. You're on the high scoreboard. Why don't you go on a nice little ego trip and then come back? Set. Oh no! Someone please strike hey there, the bar lounge. We'll do two. And let's have some names, please, Raul. Uh, flying solo. Great. Pull your tray up, strap yourself in, and type in your name. Oh yeah. Hey, I also. Consider it done. Thirty seconds. Up. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to be trying your attention span. Start the loud music and the flashy lights. Someone's getting bored. Say hello to bad women's hairdos and the states that love them. How does two thousand dollars sound? Uh, let's see if you can wrap your head around this. Which of these is an actual official state nickname? Maryland. Go for it. Shag trees on Arbor Day. What do you do? Plant carpet? Bet you wish you'd pick this. Utah, the beehive state. I guess they thought land of 10,000 bouffants would be pushing it. Okay. And this one is... Whoa, put a lid on that thing. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. You know, a good way to make friends is to compliment people. If you were to say something to a man about his hat, which of the following... It's yours if you want it. L is for loser. Oh man, I can't believe I got away with saying the word cock so many times. Ah! The only one of these that doesn't refer to a hat somehow is cock chafer. It's a European beetle or a steel wool jockstrap. Okay, I need a key. Now serving, super secret, do not read. And you're playing for $3,000 cash money. Hey, I was going through somebody's diary and came across this. Check it out. Dear diary, one Nobel Prize for chemistry with hubby today, but so what? Mom never lets me forget. Go get Well, you're toast. Should have picked this. <laughs> Irene Joliot Curie was Mary Curie's daughter who, like her mother before her, won a Nobel Prize with her husband for research in the field of radiation. And they both died of leukemia from radiation poisoning. Hey, can we talk competitive? Category. You can't stop at three. No, you gotta have four. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, give it up for Random House Blends. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. Hope you brought your suit. It's time to get wet. If the literary character Starbuck worked at the coffee chain Starbucks, what drink would probably be coffee of the day? Mocha Dick? Take it! The Scarlet Latte? Is that the one where the woman has to walk around with a big coffee stain on her shirt? For the curious, here's the right answer. Starbuck is the first mate in Moby Dick, so he would try to find you a mocha dick. One mocha dick! Or she blows! Let's blow this time and head for number five. Coming at you, unhappy and loving it. Two thousand bucks for a correct answer. Let's see how you handle this one. If the creators of Land of the Lost made a sequel called Land of the Lost Generation, which of these would you not see? Ernest Hemingway waving a cape. It's yours if you want it. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway, I think you just blew a hole in your score with that answer. <laughs> the correct answer is... The Lost Generation was a group of post-World War I American writers hanging out in Europe. But Nathaniel Hawthorne wrote in the 1800s. You know his book, The Scarlet Latte. Okay, pick a category. This one's called Throw Up Stories of the Highway Patrol. $2,000 says you don't know this one. Alrighty, imagine that someone you know gets pulled over for drunk driving. Not you, of course. You're above that. Which of the following commands tests an inebriated driver's kinesthesis? Tell me how many fingers I'm holding up, take a breath, and blow into the... Kinesthesis is the sense of where your body parts are and how they're moving. It's the sense that helps you touch your nose while your eyes are closed. For instance, if I'd been drinking, I wouldn't be able to... Oh, uh, let, let's move on. <laughs> okay. Seven, lucky, lucky seven. The selection is drinking nine to five. You give me a right answer, I give you 3,000 bucks. Put your tray in the upright position, it's time for takeoff. Because its product is least likely to give you a hangover, which company could you drink? Take it! No, red wine gives you some of the worst hangovers of all. Try some tonight. And when you're too sick to go to work tomorrow, tell your boss I said it was okay for you to stay home. Here's what you should have picked. Vodka has the least amount of congeners in it, so drink for drink, vodka is the least likely to give you a hangover. So if you work for an importer of vodka, drink up. But I wouldn't let the boss see those crates of tonic water you have under your desk. I need a category. You chose wisely, my friend. You just got your hands on a dis or dat. And this dis or dat question's category is... Got milk of magnesia? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I see. You've got this thing down. Well, I'll put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's go in. Shingles, medical disorder, breakfast. Rickets. Crunch berries, polyps, frosted flakes, mobs, last one, grape nuts, that's all she wrote, you only missed one, not too bad, let's add your winnings to your total, now, doesn't that feel better, good, let's move on, alright, hit me, aloha, well, what do we have here? Look at the stones on that guy. Thousand bucks if you get it. Put it in gear, cause here we go. Let's say that Ronald McDonald builds a set of golden arches himself. To complete an arch, which of the following will Ronald need? A gold. Go for it! And if you look to your left, you'll see the popular wrong answer. Ooh! See, now, I could have given you some cash if you pick this. Ah! A keystone is the central stone in an arch which holds the other parts together. Ronald usually just shoves one of those french fry boxes in there, though. Category, please. Nice choice, lover. You've just been invited to a three-way.
Okay, this is simple, but here... Oh, somebody's in a hurry. Here we go. This little three-way likes to call itself, Sing Me a Colorful Tune, which means I'll be singing about this three-way, red, white, and blue. Okay, hand down your buzzer. Here's your three-way. <laughs> Okay, we're stripped down to our skivvies. Looks like that's all we've got. Let's see how you scored. Don't tell me you've just had a lot on your mind lately. Let's see if we can at least get a rise out of your overall score. So, let's see what we've got ahead of us here. That's it for round one. Let's go to round two. Now remember, everything in round two is worth double, so heads up. Okay, pick... Don't look now. It's question 11. For your enjoyment, bad parts of the cow. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. Hey, you know Sam the Butcher from the Brady Bunch, right? Well... Say Sam wants to be alone with Alice. If he asks to meet her in an area of high crime and corrupt business, where might Alice say she's going? I'm meeting... Take it! Just doesn't get any wronger than this. Hey, got a minute? Take a look at a right answer. New York and San Francisco both have legendary tenderloins. The areas were nicknamed because corrupt cops made lots of easy cash. So Sam wants to meet her there. Well, Sam always was the romantic one. Okay. I'm getting a reading of 12. Over. And I believe this one's called Litigation with the Lord. You get 4,000 clams for this one. Okay, imagine this. You're a lawyer from Galilee, present at Jesus' famous Sermon on the Mount, described in the book of Matthew in the New Testament. If you file suit against Jesus for failing to include your clients in the list of those named as blessed in the Sermon on the Mount, whom do you represent? The it's yours if you want it. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Ever heard that anywhere? <laughs> Let's take a look at the right answer. <laughs> According to the Statue of Liberty, the huddled masses can get into the United States, but Jesus doesn't promise them anything. But he'll probably settle out of court for a few grand and agree to reevaluate your client's state of grace. I need a category. Pucker up for Christ, who left this mess? Better wake up, there's 6,000 bucks at stake. Think fast. If Andy Warhol had included references to some of his other famous works when he painted his Last Supper series, which of these would you not have seen? Go for it! Now, Warhol is famous for his variation of Brillo pad boxes. It's a good thing, too, because the apostles didn't listen when Christ said, Thou shall soak thy pots. In case you're wondering... Andy Warhol painted many advertising images, but he never copied Starbucks. Would you like room for cream? No, my son. My cup runneth over. All right, hit me. Well, looks like this category is, thanks for ruining the movie for me. How does $4,000 grab you? All right, imagine this one. You're in a movie theater watching the 1980 biopic about John. The movie you're watching is The Elephant Man, the story of John Merrick, a Victorian circus freak with a huge bulbous shaped noggin. Well, you might not be able to see the movie, but you could laugh really loud during all the sad parts. Category, please. Not 14, not 16, you're right in between. Shake hands with bears, bulls, and balls. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Man, is it me or can you see almost any kind of sport on some of those cable sports networks? If you turned on ESPN2 and saw a bunch of guys known to regulate stock trading playing basketball against colleges like Alabama and Georgia, what would you be watching? 
It's yours if you want it. ACC in the ACC? I'm afraid you're SOL. Should have picked this. The Securities and Exchange Commission regulates trading on the stock market, and the Southeastern Conference is a college conference in the NCAA. I keep getting confused over whether the referee is signaling a jump ball or a junk bond. Okay, pick a category. Uh-oh! Left nut kick, I'm sore! It's time for Flippish Take a look at your gibberish category. Animal husbandry gone out of control. 10,000 bucks if you move fast on this gibberish question. Now listen up. Every second and a half, some of the cash is going to disappear. So if you want to win big, you got to be quick. Okay, get ready to buzz. I want you to tell me what advertising slogan this rhymes with. Pet the geese, love a flock. And remember, don't let the punctuation fool you. First clue, it's for an insurance company. It's for an insurance company that's solid as a rock. You know, kind of like your head. Last clue, the rock. It's all yours. Type in your answer. See, that's why I like you. Most people would have gotten the answer after three clues, leaving me no opportunity to call them a loser. If you're looking for insurance, you might want to pet the geese love a flock. Not only did you not get a piece of the rock, you didn't get a piece of the cash either. Okay, I need a On the big bayou in Louisiana, quest on seven. Open wide and get ready for So Hot You Can Fry an Egg on a Former President. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. Let's rock. If Ronald Reagan had earned the nickname Teflon President for having the characteristics of Teflon, which of the following would not go for it? Are you kidding me? The Guinness Book of Records would list him as the world's slipperiest substance. The correct answer is... Created by DuPont, the soft and waxy material Teflon is used for non-stick surfaces, but is not found on the inside of canned fruits. It may, however, have been used to keep Reagan's hair looking the way it did. I need a category. This little number's known as, do I have to sell my body? Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. Just step up and take a swing at this one. Buying a house generally involves paying an arm and a leg, putting your money where your mouth is, and eventually paying through the nose. Which of these is an actual type of loan? An arm, a leg? Go get it! That's wrong, but a really bad guess. For the curious, here's the right answer. <laughs> ARM stands for Adjustable Rate Mortgage. It's the kind of loan where if you don't pay on time, a big guy named Vinny comes over to your house and breaks your elbows. Category, please. May I introduce Saturday Morning Physics Lessons? And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Heads up, here it comes. Assuming Speed Racer wasn't just talking trash when he named his car, how fast could the Mach 5 go? Five times the speed of light, five times the speed of sound, five times the speed of 500 horse. Take it! Mach 1 is the speed of sound, Mach 2 is twice the speed of sound, and so on. <laughs> The car would arrive at a given point five times faster than that cool ch -ch 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 sound it makes when it jumps. God, I love that. All right, hit me. The category? Air today, gone tomorrow. Four thousand big ones for a right answer here. Flex those fingers, because here it comes.
If you combine the participants of wig stock with the wigs, what would you get? If he's in a wimpy alternative band, go get it! No, that would be big rig stock. <laughs> Bet you wish you'd pick this. Wigstock is an annual drag festival, and the Wigs were Americans opposed to British rule over the colonies. We the people give the Queen two snaps down. Okay. You're about to embark. Ah, you think you know the attack, huh? I got news for you. Not all attacks are equal. Here's your clue. She makes me look good. Question is, what can she do for your score? Let's find out. Just think, if you only got one or two more questions right, you'd just be embarrassed instead of utterly humiliated. Oh, and while I'm adding insult to injury... You don't know Great Jack. show, everybody. Lovely work as usual. Raul, hon, what's going on now? If so, try hey, I don't want to pressure you into anything you don't want to do, but, you know, we got everything all set up. Everybody's here. We get paid overtime.